Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so, so excited. I am going to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour tonight. And if you guys watch some of my other videos and vlogs, you do know I did actually already attend this concert back in Arizona. Me and my friends were kind of crazy and bought last minute floor seats. And that was a completely different experience. We literally bought those tickets last minute the night before. But these tickets that I have tonight, we've had since like I think October, November, since the trauma of Ticketmaster. So I definitely had a lot more time to craft and put together my outfit. Last time I really just kind of threw together some things I already owned. But this outfit I am so, so proud of. For this concert, I have a fully crafted look. I'll insert some clips right now of me crafting these pieces, kind of all the work and effort that went into this. And I'll show you guys the final results. Yeah, cut to me a couple weeks ago starting my crafting journey. What's up, you guys? Cody's looking a little rough this morning. Um, I got a chemical peel the other day. Also getting over a minor sinus infection, so we're looking a little rough. Anyways, I'm so excited. We are at Michael's right now. I'm going to be picking up some supplies for my Taylor Swift outfit, and yeah, this is going to be a bit more of a DIY than I anticipated, but we are bejeweling the vest. We are making her iconic midnight boot from her tour, and yeah, so picking up some supplies. I ordered some online, so it should be a quick pickup, and then a couple things I'm getting actually in store, so yeah, gonna take you guys along with me. All right, heading in to Michael's. Like I said, I ordered a couple things online and then getting some in store. So I'm not sure if I should add some actual like chunkier glitter in there. Probably something like this. I already ordered some blue, but I think I might use, I think I could probably use silver too. All right, I think this is what, this is what I'm going with. I like the holographic blue, kind of another shade of blue. I think mixing it all together is going to look nice. And I think I might just add on some of this. I don't know if I need it though, if I have this one. I think I'll pass. Nah, they look, I don't think I'll just get it. Alright guys, so here is the glamorous mess that is in my spare bathroom. There's Theo, just checking in what's going on um so supplies i do have this sparkly glitter um this is just regular blue not navy blue but i think it's gonna work honestly we'll see how this works out i feel like i'm gonna have to end up doing like a mod podge situation with some of the other glitter that i got um but i have this one and then here is the leather paint that I'm going to use. And here are the boots. These are honestly just super cute boots on their own. I got them from Princess Polly. I do have a code for Princess Polly, Tara W, safety 20%. Um, but yeah, so here are the boots. But yeah, these are just super cute and I actually got these already on sale. So they were like 25 bucks, really not that bad. But honestly, after all these supplies, they're gonna be like $70 boots, honestly. Not sure if I want to throw this glitter into the paint as well. My idea right now is to mix some glitter into the paint and then paint it on, but we'll see how that goes. So, wish me luck. All right, so here is me setting up, getting ready to paint these boots. As you can see, Thea was very interested in this process, um, but I ended up using, I guess this is kind of embarrassing, um, like extra plastic bags as gloves, just so I wouldn't get it on me. I don't know why I was worried it was gonna stain my skin, but it ended up not really being a problem at all, and it was just more of a hassle wearing them than not wearing them. So I tried to mix some of the glitter into the actual paint, and honestly, this was a total fail did not work at all but the paint still went on fine I was worried it was gonna like ruin the paint but it didn't so I was able to still paint it fine but then realizing now that I'm gonna have to for sure do the whole Mod Podge glitter situation okay so here we are coat one um, I know you're supposed to do at least two coats on here so it looks a little splotchy, but I think the second coat is definitely going to make up for that. I'll give you guys a full tour of one boot. 
And this took about eh, like an hour, hour and a half to do. But yeah, so one coat, one coat done on one boot. I'm actually surprised I didn't use all of the paint. Um, I thought I was going to. But yeah, there's still some left over for a second coat and I have another full bottle for the other boot. Like I said, I'm gonna end up probably Mod Podge glittering it. So this doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted a dark enough base for the glitter in case it doesn't cover completely. At least it'll have an AB Blue base for the shoe. All right, here we are, two coats completed. And honestly, I am digging these boots. I think they look so, so good. Also, yes, Theo fell asleep while I was working on them. Also, here's a quick look at the mess of my bathroom. We're just not gonna think about that right now. Then I went ahead and took them outside to do some glittering, which, you know, glitter just gets everywhere. And I figured outside was a better option. In hindsight, honestly, maybe doing it inside and just vacuuming up would have been an easier option because my front wall walkway area definitely still has a glitter in it. Um, don't tell my husband. Anyways, here are all the different glitter options I got. I had no idea how much glitter I needed to use, so I clearly, in hindsight, got way too much. And then here is the Mod Podge that I ended up using. I had a lot of different variations, but that was just what I went with. And if you were a crafting person and you just saw me pour that glitter in the bowl, you are probably cringing right now, realizing that this is way too much glitter for the project that I'm doing but you know you live and you learn here is the black glitter that I got which was honestly my favorite I kind of wish I got more of it so you could see it a little bit more in the coloring but I did mix it all up and then I quickly kind of regretted my decision to mix it using the brush because all of the glitter kind of got pushed up into the top of the brush and then I had to try and get the glitter out of the brush and some of this it was micro glitter so also a nightmare to work with but yeah I decided to mix it all up and I feel like I did get a pretty good color at the end of the day it was very midnighty blue and here is the result of just one coat and I decided to just stick with one coat because it was such a process to do and I really did not want to do it over again and honestly I feel like it covered really really well with just one coat so then I started to do the sealing of it I used the Mod Podge mixed with water also mixed with a little bit of glitter to seal the boots so that's kind of why the bottom was a little bit more hazy than the rest because that's kind of where I started and then here they are completely sealed and done and you can see the sparkle on this is insane and it's so so stunning like watching this back I am still completely obsessed with these boots and then the last step putting on the red bottoms because you know tailors are Louboutins you know I got my own just to make sure that color match was on point Hey guys, so I am back out and about again. I'm actually doing some returns as well as additional purchases. Um, I'm back at Joann's and I had gotten the Mod Podge from Joann's because they didn't have Mod Podge at Michael's, so I had to make this separate trip. I didn't know which kind I needed, so I got like waterproof, regular, just a lot of different options. I ended up just using the big size of regular Mod Podge to seal everything and put the glitter on and it worked fine. So I'm returning the other variations that I didn't use. Um, I am a little bit nervous. I did end up painting the interior of the boots because you could just really see the white when I wore it on the inside and it kind of bothered me but now I'm worried that when I wear them it's gonna be like staining my legs so I think I might try and seal the paint on the inside the leather paint on the inside with Mod Podge um I do have waterproof in my bag right now so I don't know if I want to get rid of that but it's also like $20 which is really expensive so I might just deal with getting stained legs and save 20 bucks. Mm, I don't know. Um, I just have so much of the other Mod Podge. I feel bad opening this one just simply to line the interior of the boots. It doesn't even go all the way down. Um, but yeah, so returning that, going to Michael's, returning all the extra glitter I got, which, spoiler, there was so, so much leftover glitter. I don't know why, I had no gauge of how much I needed of all these supplies, so I bought way too much glitter. So we got some big returns there, which is great because glitter kind of adds up, like, it's a little expensive there. But yeah, so I'm gonna head into Joann's, do my quick return, go to Michael's, do that return. I also need to pick up a final clear glossy gloss for the bottom of the shoes 
And yeah, I think that's about it. I think I'll be done. So close. <laughs> in the wrong section for a glossy top coat. Mm. I don't know about this. I might have to ask for help. All right, so I'm back from Michael's and I got clear gloss and I was not expecting it to be like this. I thought I'd just pick up like a clear paint and it'd be simple. Um, this looks a little bit more heavy duty <laughs> than what I was thinking of, but yeah, we'll see how it works. It's also a furniture store by here, so I might pop into there because me and Jake are looking at furniture for our bedroom, side note, so I might just make the most of this trip while I'm up here. Okay, now switching it up to some different crafting. I had some of my friends come over and we did a little bit of friendship bracelets. My friend Cassidy was finished painting the vest, which I will show you guys her finished product. It is literally insane. Also, there's Theo hanging out with us. And then the next day, I decided to start bejeweling the front of my vest. And this took literally so long, but came out so amazing. And then the last steps now step into my boots. I actually did this little hack with some of my Halloween costumes. If you watched my Cinderella video, it's kind of how I sealed the bottom of those glass slippers. Also, I do this to all my Louis Vuittons because I like to keep the red very red on the bottom. And basically, I got this on Amazon. You pretty much just trace out the part of the boot that you, or shoe, I guess, that you want to seal and cover. And then you really just cut it out and put it on like a sticker. And that's pretty much what it is. I know some people get worried that this might make the boot a little bit slippery or hard to walk in, but I really don't have that issue at all. Um, here I am just measuring it out to make sure that it's going to fit perfectly. And then that's kind of the last step. You can see it's completely stuck on there and this will make sure none of the paint wears away. All right, so here is my final bejeweled vest and I made this joke to my friends that my too much jean just too much at this moment. I literally don't know when to stop, so I just did everything and I think it came out so, so cool and so pretty. And then the best part is the back on this vest and I will link Cassidy's art account. She hand painted this midnight back cover and it is so, so, so incredible like I am just still shook that this even exists so she is so so talented definitely go check her out she did all of my friends best we each were a different era and yeah literally so incredible I did do the little bejewel lines on it so so I'll take credit for that and then my boots here are the final product and I think again these turned out so so pretty and I'm just really proud of them I been wanting these boots so I just made them because they literally did not exist in the world and here they are in the sun so you can see a little bit more of that sparkle on them and yeah seriously so so stunning you can see also the top that I did also leather paint the inside just to make sure that you wouldn't see that bright white when I wear them and then you can see the shiny red bottoms that lacquer stuff that I got ended up working perfectly so really glad that turned out and yeah, there it is. All right, you guys, so we got some results. So here is ah, everything crafted. There is the vest, and yes, you did see I hand bejeweled the entire thing. So this was a labor of love, but I think it turned out so cute. And then the back, I literally cannot take any credit for. My friend Cassidy, I'll be sure to link her social medias. She's an incredible artist, and she hand painted the Midnight's album cover on the back of this, which is just wild. Like, I literally can't comprehend the talent that she has. So me and my friends are all different eras, and she painted all of our bests, which was wild and crazy, and I love it. But yeah, so here is the crafted vest, and then my shoes, which I saw these shoes during her Arizona tour for her Midnight outfit, and I just decided I needed to have them. So here is them fully crafted, and I am just so, so in love with how they turned out. Could not have imagined it any better. And yeah, but the boots are from Princess Polly, which 
if you use my code, you can save some money. I don't know if anyone is planning on DIYing a pair of boots now that the tour is kind of over, but if you want to do it for like a Halloween costume, these boots are actually pretty comfortable. They're kind of thicker, chunkier heels, so perfect to wear all night long. The vest I got from Amazon, and then my dress that I'm wearing, I also got from Princess Polly. Also, if any of you watching also have gone to the Eras Tour, crafted any of your pieces, be sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys did, what kind of outfit ideas you had. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire outfit. And now to head to my friend's house to accessorize and put on some finishing touches and go to the concert.